Hey, let's talk about the weather now. We have some beautiful, beautiful weather ahead. More sunshine, we're warming things up, and we're gonna be looking at another cool down moving in after that. So you better make the most of the next few days. Today, it was a little chilly. We topped out in the upper 30s along the Wasatch Front. Down south, temps in the low to mid 50s in St. George. And as you head east, temperatures topping out in the middle to upper 30s. So all in all, running well below average uh, for today. Tomorrow, we'll get closer to normal, but we won't quite get there. We're at 29 degrees right now. South wind's coming in at about three, so a light breeze. Temperatures are already almost colder than normal for the night, and we will see those lows below average again tomorrow. But instead of topping out the 30s, we will climb into the mid 40s, which is where we'll stay for most of the afternoon. So we'll start off at around 25 in the morning, uh, maybe dipping down to 24 briefly, and then we'll climb into the 40s for the afternoon. Skies will be partly cloudy. We may see some high clouds rolling in as a disturbance or two develops back to our north and west. But for us, we're staying dry and we're going to have this gradual warm up. So tomorrow we get closer to normal and then we'll see those temperatures actually go up above normal by the end of the week and into the first half of the weekend. We will have the inversion setting back up again too and it looks to uh, settle and set up through about Saturday. So our air quality tomorrow should be back in the green again. That's where we are right now, but we could see it drop to moderate levels and maybe even worse as we head towards the end of the week and that ridge of high pressure moves in. And then we have a colder and stormy Sunday as the next storm moves in and that will linger into the early part of next week. The storm's going to be coming in from the Pacific Northwest and you can see that low pressure system rolling right in. This is Saturday morning. We'll have that southerly flow ahead of it. And even though the clouds will be increasing on Saturday, Saturday will be the likely the warmest of the next seven days uh, with that southerly flow settle, setting up. And then by Saturday night, we'll have shower chances developing. And then by Sunday, we'll start with a rain snow mix and we'll likely finish with all snow uh, for most of our valleys. We may even see that dip into stretches of I-15 down south. But right now it looks like St. George and far southern Utah should stay dry from the system. By uh, Sunday night and Monday, we try to dry things out. And then by Tuesday, we can see another system moving in to bring in yet more shower uh, activity across the state, probably in the form of snow for our valleys as we'll have that colder air settling in. Your forecast for tomorrow, though, it'll be nice and dry. We'll start off on the cold side in the 20s. Single digits for Park City down south in the 30s. For the afternoon, we'll have highs in the mid-40s, mid-30s for Park City, Evanston topping out at 30 tomorrow and then we'll top out in the upper 50s in St. George. Should be a beautiful day down that way. Here's your 7 day forecast for southern Utah. Temperatures will go up Thursday 65, 67 Friday and then we'll see another dip in the temperatures Monday, Tuesday in northern Utah. Temperatures will be in the 40s on Wednesday and then we're back to the mid 50s Friday, Saturday. So nice warm up and then watching for snow chances to develop Sunday, Monday and perhaps even lingering into Tuesday.